Hello and welcome to the internet. My name is Kai and in this video I'll be outlining how you should train your forearms for growth. First thing you want to do is make sure that your arms are nice and warm. So I like to warm up with three sets of six hammer curls. I prefer hammer curls here to traditional bicep curls because the more pronated or facing down your palm is, the more you're going to activate your brachioradialis or the big forearm muscle. And so the neutral grip allows you to work this muscle a little bit before you start to properly target it. I'm also doing these sitting down because it makes it harder to cheat the weight up. One of my favorite tools to use when training my forearms is something like these fat grips. You can either buy them or I'm lucky enough to just have some at my gym. They make the handle on the dumbbell much thicker, which makes you activate your forearms a lot more when you're trying to lift the weight up. I would recommend using these as either part of your warm up or as a finisher, but you'll have to drop the weight. Now it's time for our main forearm muscle builder. This is also targeting the brachioradialis and it's four sets of eight to 12 of reverse curls. I like using an easy bar for this because it feels better on my wrists, but you can play around with it and use a straight bar if you prefer. When you're doing this, you wanna make sure you're gripping tightly onto the bar. This will help activate all the little smaller muscles in your forearms that are attached to your fingers. And now to hit the other side of your forearms, we've got wrist curls. There are a few big flexor muscles in your forearms. So this is what we're going to be targeting with this exercise. Again, four sets of eight to 12. I like to go slow on the eccentric and really bend my wrist back as far as I can go. And at the end of the set, I'll do a few second isometric hold. And as far as direct forearm training goes, that's really all you need. Your forearms are already getting a lot of volume in indirectly through any kind of exercise that involves elbow flexion or anything where you've got a grip onto a bar. Most of the muscles in your forearms are only very small, but they're very important for everything we do in the gym. So you don't want to injure them by overtraining. If you feel like your forearms are small or lacking muscle, I would recommend designating forearm training to its own day or putting them at the start of your arm workout. The muscles you target at the start of your workout are what are going to get the most benefit of that workout. If you just tack them on at the end of your arm day, you're not going to see as much gains. Now this video mainly covered hypertrophy, but I'll quickly mention a few exercises you can do to help build forearm strength. And these are things such as dead hangs, double overhand deadlifts, and pharma carries. Anything where you've got to grip onto something very tightly and not let go.